fucking annoying. Pick one. Damn it! Thank you to Al Hyena for their generous donation on Patreon. If you would like to join them in their generosity, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. There we go. Four nineteen point oh, spoofy. Four hundred and nineteen point eight. Or 420 for those of you who don't want to round up their numbers. I'm already round enough. I don't need to do it to my numbers too. Matt, here we spoof. Who is eating more greens right now than I have probably in the past year? I'm kidding. Seriously, stop eating the grass though. That's fucking gross. The heaviest I have ever weighed in my life. About a year ago, I weighed in at 437 pounds. 437 pounds. That is four people. Four fucking people. That, that Does that make sense to you? It drastically throws off my BMI, even though that's not the most accurate uh, description of a person's health or weight management ability. And in that time, in a whole year, I have gotten as low as 398, which was really fun. I really... Oh man, I was so fucking happy when I went from 4 to 3 on the first digit. It meant so much to me that of course I had to fuck it up. And I've never gotten as high as that since, but I've gotten closer than I would have liked a couple times. About a year and a half ago, I had a back injury that severely fucked up my ability to be mobile. It limited my abilities in terms of anything physical. I couldn't lift certain weights, I couldn't walk certain distances, and for a large period of time, I couldn't sit, stand, or move without experiencing an excruciating and unprecedented level of pain. I herniated a disc in my lower lumbar, and the exact placement of that disc pushed out against a nerve in my lower back that basically controlled pain receptors in my lower body, you know, the entirety of it. Someone around here have some good weed, or I'm about to get attacked by a skunk again. Because of this, my already somewhat sedentary lifestyle became absolutely stagnant. I was in bed the vast majority of the day, and even there, I couldn't lay down without feeling pain. The best I could hope for was to be in one position long enough that I wouldn't have to move. I would limit how much I was drinking so I wouldn't have to go to the bathroom as often and it was a heavy heavy tax on the relationship I have with my fiance Bree and with my uh, career prospects I couldn't hold a job during this time and it was because of that back injury that had no chance of being fixed operated on or anything except exacerbated by the fact that I am extremely overweight. I've always been overweight. Uh, I, I I don't have a single picture of me other than maybe a few baby pictures where I looked even slightly within the weight I should be. Over a year ago I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism which uh, the thyroid gland in your brain helps regulate hormones and if that thing goes out of whack, it's all fucked up. Like, everything is fucked up. All your reactions, emotions, your thoughts, your body's ability to regulate itself, it all comes down to your hormones and the chemicals in your brain reacting according to stimuli accordingly. Specifically, I have a overabundance of thyroid antibodies in my brain. Now you're not supposed to have any of them, I have 600. That's a problem, and you can't get rid of them. That's what the doctor told me. So I'm on this medication, uh, levothyroxine, that is supposed to supplement the chemicals that are naturally produced by the thyroid gland. Instead of, con it, it can't combat the problems that it's not making it, it's supposed to just supplement it to get it from an external source. In theory, this would negate all the problems, but it hasn't because a large problem with hypothyroidism is it makes losing weight damn near impossible. 
Couple that with the fact that I have mobility issues stemming from the back injury as well as I have osteoarthritis in my ankles that requires me anytime I go past this porch essentially, even if I have to walk down to my driveway to get the trash cans that are so prominently featured in this video for some reason. If I have to go down to that end of that driveway to get my trash cans, I have to wear ankle braces, otherwise I won't make it. And that's assuming my back will allow me to get out of bed at all. As you can imagine, this makes living life a fucking nightmare in a lot of instances. I have to ride the motor carts at the grocery store if I can even get to the grocery store. Some days it's better than others. Like today, I'm fairly certain I can do a load of dishes as long as I'm sitting down, but that's a maybe. Like, that's, like seriously. I mowed the lawn here recently, and that led to me being on strict bed rest for a week. I could not get up except for absolutely necessary circumstances because I mowed the fucking grass. That's how fucking bad it is. So how this relates to my weight specifically is I can't just get out and do it. Stop making excuses. Just get up and do something. Some days I can't get up to do anything. Seriously considered investing in a fucking bedpan, but I know no one in the house would want to clean that shit. <laughs> hey, spoovy. Okay, bye, booby. You could hear the fucking chair struggling. That's not a good sign. I've broken two of these fucking things already. So there is no just do it. There's no just get out and do something. There's no go take a walk. I was trying to do that on my second channel. I don't know which channel this is going on, but on my channel dedicated to my video diary, I was doing daily walks during the hottest parts of the day where all I would do is one lap around the block. Sometimes I was able to do two, maybe one and a half, but I was always at least doing my best. First thing in the morning, get up, take my pill, use the bathroom, go on a walk. And I was planning on adding a, an evening walk. Maybe I would even put in a midday walk. I would be doing three walks a day. You know, slow progress, you gotta build up to that shit. The first day, I barely made it all the way around the block. The second day, I was able to do two blocks. So it's like, oh, progress is a real fucking thing, apparently. But then my dumbass mowed the yard. And now, I can't get to the fucking bathroom without, bar without almost collapsing. So exercise isn't, isn't gonna happen. So the obvious solution is to change the calories in if I can't change the calories out. And that's what I have been working on, primarily. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing my best to... Jesus fucking Christ. Really? It's a 25 through here, you fucking asshole. As a result of that measure, I have done my best to regulate my portions and trying to eliminate foods from my diet that I knew I could not properly regulate and eat responsibly that has led to me completely dropping pasta because i would absolutely uh, abuse pasta i i couldn't trust my food addict brain to not eat it irresponsibly so no pasta i know omega-3s are good so i've i've reclaimed my former love of fish sticks and i have actually managed to tame that particular beast where now I have gotten it down to a one portion size is 13 fish sticks. And that's pretty fucking good considering my former serving size for one meal was like 50. So I, I've made a hell of a lot of progress there. Getting it down so like one sandwich, that's a meal. I'm working my way to making my portion sizes normal and cutting out things that are overtly bad. I don't snack at all. I don't drink soda at all. Candy, no. So the problem that I'm having is I've made all these changes, but I can't do two big things. That's exercise and make any progress, it seems. With my inability to exercise, I'm basically not burning near enough calories to make even a healthy diet anything but calories gained. This is all coupled with a plethora of other medical problems. I know I have some sort of digestive issue. The other day I ate a salad and 
TMI here. I had to go to the bathroom within an hour with the uh, with the unmentionableness. I had diarrhea. Let's just fucking be honest here. And I have problems with that. Basically, anything I eat leads to that. Every time I eat literally anything, I'm in the bathroom within an hour. And that's a problem. I think one of the biggest issues with this whole thing is... Uh, I just am not making any progress. And I feel like I have made a lot of changes, but I'm also having to work within a lot of fucking limits. And those limits are infuriating because they're limiting my progress, and my progress isn't happening at all. It's just very frustrating to stick to a program that you know is necessary, but has led to no fucking progress. It's just really fucking hard to convince yourself that all the struggle, all of the fucking sacrifice is actually doing a damn bit of good when you're constantly fighting the food addict brain that's saying, hey, you're feeling bad about your progress, you're not making any progress, so why not just order another fucking serving of that thing, or why not just eat more than what you're trying to tell yourself is enough? Why not? Because what the fuck is the problem here? I, I wish I had a happy ending to this story, Unfortunately, the truth of the matter is that I am constantly subjected to patronizing comments and looks everywhere I go for being the fat guy that shows up to places. I can't go to functions, even if my back allows me, without feeling totally singled out. If I use the motor cart at the grocery store, I get bad looks because I'm not 80. It looks like I'm just another fat guy that's too lazy to walk around the store. Every food item I eat is a mental battle. And it sounds dramatic to say it that way, but it's fucking true. Like, I can't make a single fucking food choice without it being a long negotiation, without it being about, without feelings of guilt, without uh, you know, my mental health coming into play. It all is just a fucking shit show. I'm doing what I can within my budget and with my, within my limits. But I don't fucking know what else I can do before I go to the doctor. And I don't know what the doctor's going to say because every doctor I've ever been to just says, You're fat. That's the problem. Lose the weight. You're young enough. Yeah, I'm 25 at 420 pounds. I know that's a fucking problem, and I've been trying to fix it, and that's what the fuck I'm there to fix. But all I get is told is, we'll try to do a little bit of something. I can't get out of bed without feeling like I'm being literally stabbed in the spinal column. What the fuck am I going to do on a treadmill? So I don't know what I'm, my goal here is with making this video. Maybe it's just telling you how I'm doing. Maybe it's just letting you know the reality of the situation, living for me as a, a mentally ill, 25-year-old, 420-pound person. Because I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not making any commitments, I'm not making any goals, uh, I'm not, just follow along on my journey as we lose a million pounds together, that's not what I'm doing here. I can't start an exercise routine. I literally can't do anything other than maybe yoga on the bed and even that fucking hurts like hell. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm just letting you know the reality of the situation is that I feel fucking hopeless. I feel like I can't do a goddamn thing about this. And if I don't get it fixed soon, I'm gonna die soon. And some days that feels like it's on purpose. Some days it feels like I, you know, that this is the most long dragged out fucking suicide attempt ever. And yeah, there's psychological things to talk about and how someone would get to 400 pounds. Obviously, something has to have happened in their childhood that they're dealing with or, or some sort of traumatic event. And yeah, I've got my fair share of those too. But I'm fucking 25, and if I don't get this shit off of me. I'm not making it to 35. By hook or by crook, it ain't gonna fucking happen. Hopefully a doctor can help me. Hopefully uh, something starts fucking working. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And I hate it. I hate it so goddamn much. So now, hopefully, 
when I stand up, I don't feel like I'm going to die so that I can do some dishes. And that might be it. That might be it for the rest of the day, because sometimes just doing the dishes is painful enough to leave me stuck in bed for the rest of the day. Sometimes I can't even do that. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. I can't work. I don't have a job. I can't get a job. Desk jobs. I can't do them. Stay at home jobs. I can't do them. I can't do anything. And I swear to God, if I hear one motherfucker say, well, a lot of those can'ts are won'ts, you just won't do it, you're making excuses, that's the easiest way to either get blocked or if you're a person in my real life to earn your way onto a permanent spot on my shit list. Because I've had people very important to my life right now tell me that shit, and uh, there, there's no, there's no getting back from that for me. You're fucking done. So I'll go ahead and end this here, because I've got dishes to do and Spoofy's getting really impatient. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. I've been the Trained Unprofessional. Uh, hopefully, there'll be less of me soon. Because if there isn't slowly less of me over time, there's going to be a 100% reduction in me before long. Because that's the reality of the situation. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. How the fuck do I end this? I don't know. Bye. Fuck it.